new Zoe Explain video. We have made a video in the past about the Zoe, but we've gone through a lot of innovations. There's a lot of involvements have been going on. Many updates, many features and options which have been added to this platform to make it the new industrial standards, uh, to meet these new industrial standards, let's say. Um, and I'm very excited to show you guys what we have done. Okay, so the Zoe, we do have it here in this newest case. This is a complete case. We can leave the propellers on, which is very nice. So you don't need to detach them or take them off. We have the complete case and a compact case. Depends what, what you prefer. If, it, if you want to easy travel with the Zoe or you want to have everything in one box. So in this one, everything is in one box. It's there with the George Healing controller system. Uh, there's the payload, the T3 with the A7 on it. Okay, so let's take the Zoe out of the box and let's go through, go over all the details, which uh, yeah, we are going to explain. So I'm going to go, as it is out of the box, like I set you with the propellers on. We're going to install the landing gear with all the quick release. The whole drone, basically, we can set them up without tools. Opening these clamps. One side. So the biggest difference in this uh, with this Zoe X4 compared to the Zoe X8 is that we on this one have a 21 inch propeller which is the biggest propeller we actually could carry on this uh, frame uh, and with this new propulsion system combination with this propeller we achieve without payload 47 minutes with a payload on actual flying or in a mapping mission we achieve 35 minutes with a a7r series in a gimbal equipped it, uh, payload which is a very unique and nice uh, setup um, comparison com that compared to the x8 with this one we achieve 29 minutes with an a7 series payload uh, still pretty good but of course this set platform is a little bit heavier because of all the electronics and all the redundancy we have built into it. So, but still a very decent flight time. In terms of options on our Zoe drone, yeah, we have definitely tons of options, which of course is very unique, I think, as a drone manufacturer that we offer these options where many of the drone manufacturers stick to one specific platform without any additionals. On this particular Zoe, we do have a retractable landing gear as an option, for example, ADSB receiver, uh, a parachute system, which is detachable as well. So we do have a parachute that this system, which we actually can just mount on the platform where needed, um, and then take it off when you don't need it for specific for certain applications. It is, it is actually adds weight to it. Um, so with saying with that, we're, we're very diverse, like there's even more options like LiDAR sensors, terrain following data, uh, terrain, terrain following LiDARs, uh, all can be mounted up to the Zoe. But again, we're very flexible in that. So back to this new X4 Zoe, um, another thing we're very proud of is of course the customization in colors. So we do offer the option to brand your Zoe to your specific colors which which suits to you, which suits your company, which suits your company style. Uh, I think it's a very unique solution to make it even more personalized. So it's an, op it's an option we offer and uh, very proud. On the side bracket of the, of the Zoe, we do still remain these additional mounting points. Uh, let's say for the real scanners, yellow, sc yellow scan, uh, antenna mounts, uh, amlet, all of these Integrations we have done, we use the side bracket for um, as, as we can be very flexible in terms of upgrades. So we don't need to purchase an all new Zoe system if, for example, a new LiDAR comes out, a new antenna pops up on the drone. We can still mount it and make it, make it work with the existing Zoe you have purchased maybe, let's say, two, three, four years ago. So we really want to remain the performance of the Zoe and don't, um, we don't want you to buy an all new system after a year as an upgrade comes out. So on these new Zoe's and of course also on the other platforms we offer, uh, we do now have more control options than ever before. 
Um, we've, we've tested a lot of controllers, uh, but now we feel like we're on a point, we're actually now on a point where we can know like first which specific application, which controller is needed. Uh, for example, we offer this George controller, which we were very proud of. Uh, that's the internal battery, uh, an external screen, uh, with the Wi-Fi hotspot, we can we can then stream all the information to an even a bigger and brighter screen. Um, the control range of this is of course already amazing. Let's say 16 kilometers, uh, ready to go. Uh, Built-in video link. Um, we offer the dual setup, uh, a dual control system. So we have landed a dual control system for uh, if you want to have a dual operator or single operation system, uh, quick and easy HDMI output to external screens. It's all optional and all possible um, for the more security and more encrypted versions we do offer the new UXV controller systems uh, MicroNav with our platforms um, and these have a specific link specific frequency you can choose for the country you're flying in or up to the rules and regulations uh, which you probably have to uh, apply for um, but this is again a very neat solution with a doodle lab link um, and again very flexible but these three options are definitely uh, an option which will suit your application so coming to the payloads on the zoe i think definitely is one of the most important parts is this is where the zoe is being used for uh, the payload is a very wide payload range up to six kilos with light batteries uh, we can still fly six kilos with the bigger batteries we fly the light payloads it's a very unique again a unique uh, feature which our drone has where normal drones are fixed to one battery pack with this uh, we use this uh, Grimsy quick release on the bottom as a industry standard these days all the integrations we are doing with the lidar sensors sony payloads custom payloads we all use this uh, Grimsy quick release uh, on all the payloads as it becomes a standard where all the power, video, communication, everything goes through um, to make it very flexible if you want to upgrade to certain payloads um, even if you have more payloads with one Zoe or you want to have uh, a Zoe and different payloads everything is interchangeable uh, and that makes it a flexible uh, connector I think it's good to know that it's not just the camera putting under the drone there's a whole integration connection between the flight computer, GPS and all that, all these instruments are talking with the camera um, for the geotagging. Make sure everything is on the picture, what you will need for your mapping missions. But again, we will go over all these features in newer, newer videos with, uh, where we're going to explain all the mapping and inspection uh, applications with the Zoe. So there's another partner we're working with, which is using our Grimsy standard uh, quick release. Uh, this is the P3 gimbal. Uh, designed by Gramsci again um, and it still and it also works with our Zoe it's again the same quick release as it is the, the new we feel like the, becoming the new industrial standard um, if this uh, like for not all the gimbals and cameras uh, this quick release will be good enough and therefore we offer the Limo connector for communication power and control uh, with another circular quick release which is mounted on the, bro on the bottom of the drone for let's say the security cameras, next vision, or any other type of sensor you can think of, will be able to mount under the Zoe without any doubt. So no worries with that. I've been going over all these uh, payload and camera and sensor options. Um, we know this is endless, uh, but again, we're going to show you real, real in the field what these payloads are capable of doing. Uh, we go over in all the details, uh, how to use it, what controller options work best with each payload solution. Um, and we make all like new videos for security, mapping, inspection, uh, name it. We will, we will show you guys what our platforms are capable of doing uh, and that in the real world. Not just by uh, making nice videos, no, we actually want to show you guys how they perform and what they can collect and how useful this tool will be uh, for, the, for your business. So. So thank you guys for watching. It's a lot of information, uh, we know, but we've gone through a lot of things with these Zoe's. It's, a, it's, it's definitely worth uh, shooting an email if you need more information or you feel like we've been not uh, going through things you would like to hear. Um, keep watching and again, um, there's more videos coming, so stay tuned. Bye. <laughs>